before we go out there on the test track, just remember, safety first. We're here for you, but you're kind of out there on your own. You ready? Okay. Look left. Look right. Look left. Stop. Okay, here we go. Stop. Stop. Halt. Half speed. Just don't go out there on the racetrack. Stop. Left. Stop. Forward. Stop. Right. Stop. Half speed forward. Stop. Right. Stop. Forward. Half speed. Stop. Hello. Welcome to the Absurdium. Today we're working on voice commands for the Jetson bot. Forward. Full speed, stop, back, stop, half speed, right, stop, forward. On the commands, it's pretty good. It recognizes them. You can see it does false positives so though. Stop, back. So if I just talk, it'll just kind of start up on its own and start doing stuff. Stop. Stop, stop, back, stop, right, left, stop, forward, left, stop, left, left. Stop, full speed, forward, let's install the Pocket Sphinx for Ross package, it's located in the Jetson Hacks repository. After Pocket Sphinx is installed, let's set up the Bluetooth headset. Basically, we have to pair the headset with the Jetson. This is on the Jetson bot. Make sure you set the headset to pairing mode, select it, and it should automatically set itself up. Once that's done, you can go to the sound settings dialog, select the Bluetooth headset, and then just test out and see if the voice input works. You can execute the PackMD list desk sources command to get the name of the headset, which you'll need to set in the Jetson bot script. It's under name. The script is in the launch area of 
the pocket things into the Jetson Bot directory. Next, we'll start the Jetson Bot voice command on the remote PC or Jetson. In this case, it's a Jetson. Start up ROS with the minimal launch. We also need to start up a Virtual X11 server since the Jetson bot does not have a display on it. Then we'll SSH into the Jetson bot on another terminal. We'll set the display up to our virtual display. And then we launch Pocket Sphinx. Once it launches, we can give it commands. Halt. Forward. Forward.